I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can hide Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also welcome if you are new, we are back at it. Spring cleaning, deep cleaning, cleaning our house to move across country, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are just working our way through this entire house, getting it as clean as possible and slowly decluttering and depersonalizing the house also. If you watched last week's video, you've got in some updates already on our moving process. Um, but this portion of this video was actually filmed before we listed our house which is why I was going in and taking down any personal photos, patching the wall, and getting as much done as possible. Um, this was literally like the day before we listed our house. So I was coming down to the wire to get as much done as possible. I do also wanna give a big thanks to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. So I also had a handful of you guys request to possibly see listing photos or anything to see if all this cleaning paid off. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing the listing video that we had when we listed our house. So it kind of doesn't seem like I got a ton done on this first day because I was doing mainly just these stairs. But boy, I got to tell you, when you truly deep clean your stairs, it is a workout and it is a process, especially if you're like me and my family where we have animals. We have a Siberian Husky and a St. Bernard. So needless to say, the fur in the house is real. Um, so I like to go through and collect as much of the fur as possible. Uh, this red tool is my lily brush. This works really good at getting into the crevices. Um, it's a bit more gentle on the carpeting to pull up any of the dog hair. But then I do like going in with this mini carpet rake as well after the lily brush to really fluff up the carpeting. And since I was going to be vacuuming and shampooing, I wanted to make sure as these were as clean as possible with the least amount of dog hair, but also as fluffy as possible because it really helps the fibers dry nicely and fluffy when you have it all raked and you don't have to worry about any matted down sections. I have to say it is very satisfying when I actually go in and do my stairs because there is so much dog hair that it pulls up. I could literally make a chihuahua out of the fur that is just on our stairs. Um, but the look of the stairs is always so much nicer. I vacuum my stairs on a regular basis. Um, that's fairly simple, especially with having a cordless vacuum. But actually going in and making all the corners and crevices are cleaned out as well. That is something that I only do every couple of weeks. But it is definitely something that makes a visually a huge difference. But also the feel of walking up and down the stairs a massive difference.
I always get questions about this vacuum. Um, you see me vacuuming my furniture with it and all over my house. Um, this is the Roborock stick vacuum. I am obsessed with Roborocks in general. I have their stick vacuum. I have their um, wet vac and then I also have their robot vacuum. It is definitely a brand that I stand behind 100%. I've not used one of their products and not loved it. This is mainly just a convenience thing to have a stick vacuum. I still love my corded vacuums. I stand behind the opinion that a stick vacuum is never going to have the suction and quality of a corded vacuum, but on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a lot easier to grab this for any quick cleanups from the kids or the dogs than grabbing out the massive corded shark um, plug it in and go through that whole thing. So I 100% recommend the Roborock stick vacuum. It is something that you will not regret and I guarantee you will use so much more often when you go with a cordless vacuum. So now I'm going in with my Hoover Plus. This is their carpet and upholstery spot cleaner. I got this mm, end of the year, beginning of the year, around there. Um, it was a Christmas gift to myself, but this thing is awesome. I have the large vacuum clean or carpet cleaner, which I use all the time. But to be able to go in and clean the upholstery with this or any spots with this um, or definitely the stairs because it's just a lot less weight and I don't need to worry about the balancing act sometimes. Um, makes life so much easier. But my biggest thing with this is because it is just a mini one, if Freya spills her juice or the dogs have an accident or anything like that, it's a lot easier to grab this machine out rather than my giant Hoover, which I do love. But for convenience reasons, this is definitely way, way more convenient and does just as good of a job. If not, sometimes better because it doesn't have the rolling brush. The more elbow grease you use, the better it works. So sometimes when I have really stuff, tough stains, I actually go in with this machine because I can put more pressure and more elbow grease into it and often get those stains out a lot easier and faster with this. I want to take a quick second to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I fell in love with Ritual for the first time back when I was um, first pregnant with Freya. And a couple of the things I really enjoyed about them was one, their convenience. I love that their stuff got delivered straight to my door. 
as well as they're super transparent in their sustainable ingredients. You can look up right on their website their ingredients and where they come from. I also love that they are good for the whole family, so it helps you, your kids, everyone build lasting healthy habits. And for me, I am not a big morning eater, so the idea that they have their protein shake as well as the um, slow-release capsules are very gentle on your stomach is a huge benefit for me. We all know that better health doesn't happen overnight, but right now, Ritual is offering you 20% off your first month. So this is a great time to fill in the gaps in your diet with Essential for Women. It's just a small step that will help support a healthy foundation for your body. Once again, that's 20% off one month worth of vitamins or protein by going to ritual.com and using my code. I will have everything linked right in the description below. But once again, a big thanks to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. So as you have noticed with the outfit change, this is a different day. This was actually a couple days later. Um, I was not able to get everything done before listing the house. And I really wanted to just focus on the main areas. And I figured the kids' rooms weren't as important as like the master bedroom, main living area, and hallways and bathrooms. So I ended up going back at it a couple days later to finish up deep cleaning the kids' bath the kids' bedrooms. So I started in Freya's room because I wanted to get as much of her room done as possible before laying her down for a nap. You'll actually see once I start coming to the end of her bedroom, she was definitely ready. And she is the type of girl that when she is ready for bed, like she lets you know and she doesn't fight it. She loves her naps when she's ready for them. And she is one of those people that she starts laying down she'll come to you and tell you she'll grab her blanket anything she can to let you know she is definitely ready for bed I started with dusting the wall. That was the blue um, piece of this, but I go in with the yellow, which is then to wash the walls. Um, when I wash the walls, I like using Tide with very hot water and then a splash of Fabuloso purely just for the scent of it. I really love using the Fabuloso, but if you don't have that, just using Tide in hot water always does a really, really good job of cleaning any walls or doors or anything like that. Um, and this pretty much gets all over. I do go in and do like touch up cleaning since we do have indented doors. It's easier to just go back with a wet washcloth and just wipe everything down. Um, but this gets a lot of it done and I don't need to worry about not being able to reach all the way to the ceiling when I have that nice long pole as well. So I have to ask, what is your favorite 
thing in a cleaning video to see being cleaned. I personally love when people clean their like window sills or honestly any of those areas that you don't often see but can get really dirty and shampooing. I don't care if you're shampooing your carpets, your rugs, your furniture. I always really enjoy seeing those things cleaned. I love the lines of them and everything. Um, and we talked last week about what do you prefer the vacuum lines or freshly carpet raked. I love both. I honestly do. Like, I love the look of carpet lines, but if I'm shampooing my rug, I love the way it looks freshly raked and it all just like almost looking like brand new carpeting. I was so excited to do these screens because I knew these were, well, these in the boys' room were the last screens in the house to get done. So I was very excited to finally be able to be on the last steps of cleaning all the screens in the house. And um, at least in this house, it'll be <laughs> the last time I clean them. Um, but to have that like satisfaction of completing a project even if it is just cleaning my screens, it was really rewarding to be like, okay, I did it and I am finally done. Like, I don't have to do this again. Now, I'm not saying that's not going to happen when we move. I'm sure I'm going to have a ton of deep cleaning I have to do then. But to get this project done was very, very satisfying and very, very rewarding. All right, so here's where I want you to pay attention. Pay attention to how the carpet looks freshly vacuumed and shampooed. I do think there's a difference between um, vacuum lines and shampoo lines, but pay attention to what you enjoy more. I think Freya's room had the best like visualization of it since she has so much more floor space with her just having her crib. And I want to know, do you prefer the carpet lines or like I said shampoo lines you're gonna see them here as I shampoo as well or do you prefer the carpet rake I personally like I said especially after shampooing I prefer the raked looked but don't get me wrong they are both very satisfying the nice thing about carpet lines is I do think it's a visualization of something is clean and something is complete um and you may not get that mind trigger from the carpet rake as much as the actual lines in the carpeting.
Here you're going to see Freya definitely showing that she is ready for bed. She was ready for me to get her bed made and put in her crib. She was laying down on the floor, like all the things, trying to get on that mattress any way she could. I just thought this whole process was so cute. She wanted bed so bad, even to a point where like she was giving me her sheets. She knew what she wanted and she was definitely ready for it. So now moving into the boys' room. The boys' room in some way was going to be a little bit easier because I had actually washed their curtains a few days prior. So all I had to do was really just get into um, their bedding and everything. Their bedding, though, takes a bit to wash just because it is a little bit thicker with these being the beddies, which I absolutely love beddies. If you guys have not looked into them yet, definitely look into beddies for your kids. It makes life so much easier. Um... But I wanted to get in here and wash the beddies, wash their um, mattress cover, and also move their beds around to actually get under the beds. My kids enjoy their snacks and drinks in their room, and I don't really mind, but I knew there was like popcorn kernels and stuff like that that needed to get cleaned up, and all those little things that like to slowly sneak further and further under the bed. So this wall right next to the window always gets the dirtiest in, of any wall in the boys room um, and that's because this is the bed that Bjorn sleeps on which by the way the boys are saying <laughs> that they want a queen size bed in the next house because they like to sleep in the same bed um, but they're both growing up enough that sharing a twin size bed isn't big enough. I find that funny and really, really cute because they're nine and six. So the idea that they still like love sharing a room and being so close to each other, I really enjoy. But since Bjorn has been sleeping in his bed more often, I swear that boy sleeps with his feet on the wall because that's the only way this wall gets as dirty as it does. So I knew I needed to wash that wall really, really well. But like I said, the biggest thing was moving the beds. That way I could vacuum, I could shampoo, and then I could carpet rake everything really well. I did take, which you're not noticing in these videos because of the way they're edited, um, about 10 to 30 minute breaks um, between moving the furniture back where it needed to be just because I wanted the carpeting to have some time to air out and dry before putting furniture back on it. Play. 
Also, if you're ever wondering what these little clumps are that I'm picking up, whenever I shampoo, it seems to pull out a good amount of dog hair, even after vacuuming. And I do do a slow vacuum, and the dogs aren't supposed to. Keyword is supposed to go in the kids' rooms. However, the kids do let them in their room sometimes, and they do sneak into the kids' room sometimes. So they do still get fur in there. Um, but we really try and keep the dogs not in the kids' rooms just to keep them clean um, and make sure that there's no extra issues. I personally prefer the dogs to, when they are upstairs, to only be in mine and Bobby's room. And that's purely because that's what they're used to and we used to um or we've tried having them sleep downstairs and they just get mainly drake gets really bad at anxiety and needs to be in a room with us which i know sounds silly but he really does he gets so anxious that he can't be left alone or he gets destructive Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. Not dead yet. True shit. So I'm trying to figure out something special to do for the buyers of our house. I have no idea what. Um, when we sold our last house, I bought like the basic necessities for a pasta dinner. So pasta, a strainer, um, things like that to go along with it. Uh, sauce but I'm trying to decide what to do here I can't it's it's so hard to like and I know it's definitely not something that needs to be done but I my like love language is doing stuff for people I enjoy that like it gives me just as much joy as it does the person I'm doing it for um, so if you have ever moved into a house and the sellers did something really special or if you sold your house and you did something really special, I would love just some ideas. I've been racking my brain about something because as much as like they're getting a new house and they should be excited and everything, um, it's still kind of a thank you to buying our house and a thank you for loving our house and all those things. So if you guys have any advice, let me know. It's so hard to stay up and don't hide away behind the same old mask. But tonight I got the cool and I wanna go dance with you. So if you are in the mood, it's worth it. We don't belong with masks on. Leave them here and don't look back. So
I have noticed with cleaning these windows that this side of the house, the back side, seems to be the dirtiest side when it comes to these screens. I don't know if it's the way that the wind normally comes or what it is, but I have definitely noticed like there's a side of the house that the screens were way more dirty than the other side. So I don't know what all plays into that because you think it would all be pretty equal, um, but you're going to notice when I clean these down and then um, rinse them off all the dirt that runs out of these that they were definitely more dirty than any of the other ones I did in the house. Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna be I'll be there if you reach out to me You can also note it here even on the sills that I feel like they were a lot dirtier. Um, and in Freya's room, if you look back, there were the certain windows there also that seemed to be dirtier than other areas. Those like back windows, this is one of the side windows, but the like back windows definitely seem to collect the most like dirt and grime and all the stuff. So I don't know what affects that. It's got to just be like where the wind normally comes from. It's the only thing that I can think of. And then just doing the final steps of a really good vacuum of all the areas that I hadn't gotten to yet, as well as shampooing everything. The boys' room was definitely dirtier than Freya's room, but that just comes with age. The boys definitely play in their room a lot more than Freya does hers.
Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. As well as if you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe and join me here. I love doing cleaning, organizing, decluttering, all sorts of different cleaning motivation to start off your weekends. I post videos every single Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. So definitely make sure to check those out. I've done deep cleaning for weeks now trying to get this house in like perfect spring cleaning um, slash moving listing condition so make sure you check out some of my older videos but also big thanks once again to ritual for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check out my link in the description below and use my code to get 20 percent off your first month of vitamins or protein. I also had a lot of people request seeing some of my listing stuff to see if all this cleaning paid off. So here is our listing video for you guys and you can let me know in the comments what you think. So caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Put out all of the fire If it gets 